up? Uh, Ray McKenna. What about him? Well, apparently he was allowed out to go to his mum's funeral today. OK, I care about this. Why? No, Stevie... No, I don't have an ounce of sympathy for the psycho who attacked Ryan. He's absconded. He's on his toes, Stevie. I thought we should know. Max, can you uh, manage without me for the rest of the day? Is this about Ray McKenna? Yep. Harry filled me in. There's no reason to think I'll turn up here. The last time he was here, he said, don't think I'll ever forget you, so that's a reason. Stevie. Max, do I ever ask? OK, I'll make some calls, get some cover. Oh, yeah, OK, um, so if I could just get the help. Just give me a second. say or do could be recorded. I just, just want to talk. I, I don't want to talk to you, just want you to get out of the door, please. No, not until you listen to me. No, I've got patience up there. Oh, you just sh shut up. Listen to me, will you? Just, just tell them what really happened. Tell them, tell them I, I wasn't in my right mind. You know, the police, the judge, they, they want to put me away for this. The police are going to be here any second. So just tell them it was a mistake. T tell them I was in shock. I made a mistake. No, you, you assaulted a kid who was just trying to do his job. That's not a mistake, Ray. That's an unprovoked attack. You provoked me. You get pushing mum to the back of the queue and you could have saved her and you didn't. No, 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 no. I'm sorry about what happened to your mum, OK? I'm really sorry about that. But I don't come to work to get the living daylights beaten out of me. What you did was totally unforgivable. Ryan has to live with the consequences, so why shouldn't you? Oh, no, no, please, 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 no! Sorry, oh, oh, sorry! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, grab his arm, grab his arm. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So you know about Max, then? That I saw your face earlier when we were treating that kid, Mackenzie. Um, I don't think he'd welcome us talking about her. Yeah, well, I don't really care, to be honest. Could you maybe speak to him about his, his situation, his health? Look, he's dragged himself into the ground. Please, look, he respects you. And I don't know, he might listen to you. He, he, uh, he doesn't. I've already tried and nothing's going to change. OK, but what if there was a chance that it might? Are you OK? I'm fine, I'm fine, don't fuss. Come on, Max, let's get you up. I said I'm fine, I'm fine. Was this an intervention? You two had a powwow. You need to stop lying to yourself. Your bedside man, I could do with a bit of work. Max, she's right, you're sick. What do you want me to do? I'm out of options. What if you weren't? I've registered as a donor, there's a chance that I could be a match. No, absolutely not. That is not happening. I would never ask you to do that. Did you know about this? Since this afternoon. You are literally dying in front of me. Can't stand by and do nothing. Then don't. 
You have a job to do, go do it. That was graceless. I don't want you talking to her about my condition. I don't have to. She's a perfectly intelligent woman. She can see. Everybody can see that you're sick apart from you. You've been struggling all day. I have bad days. When did you last have a good day? If you continue to push yourself like this, you're going to die. I don't want to see that. I might not always like you, Max, but you are one of my oldest friends. And as your friend, I am telling you, something has to change. You can't go on like this. I'm going to be stepping down as clinical lead for a while. I have some uh, personal stuff to take care of. You OK? I've spoken to management about who I think should cover, and they agree. Or oh, what, they agree me? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I know we're overstretched, underfunded. I know we're hemorrhaging staff in every department. Did they put you in charge of the sales pitch? I also know that you've had it rough these last few months. Oh, we all have. Does it feel like it's too much? Why me? Uh, clinically, you're an exceptional doctor. And you've shown real leadership in trying to make this a safer place to work. From a personal point of view, you're a rock. You're practically doing the job yourself already. If you need time to... No, I'll do it.